Sharks Muscle fans, it's Dave Palumbo. And in case you haven't heard, on Saturday, July 18th at Unique Fitness Extreme in Shirley, New York, Bro vs. Bros 24 is set to take place. Contestants coming out will have a chance to compete in the bench press and deadlift for reps against IFBB pros for a chance to win over $2,000 in cash prizes. Fans in attendance will have a chance to see Species Nutrition's very own BK Beast on Keem Williams. They'll also get to see IFBB pros Jeff Beckham and Tracy Hess as they put their reputation on the line as they rep it out against the meanest, toughest, hardcore bros on the planet. As a special treat, four-time Mr. Olympia, Jay Cutler will be in attendance for a meet and greet along with many other guest celebrities. Be sure to mark it on your calendars and don't miss out on a chance to check out what is guaranteed to be one of the most exciting events of the bodybuilding year exclusively at rxmuscle.com. Welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Wednesday, July 15, 2015, and let's get to it. Last year, rookie sensation Brad Rowe shocked everyone by rolling out a jaw-dropping package for his pro debut at the Phoenix Europa. And 13 weeks from now, rookie 212 powerhouse Chris Tuttle, who finished a respectable fifth at his New York Pro debut, will be looking to induce a little bit of shock and awe of his own as he takes the stage to do battle against the 212 division's best. Muscle in the Morning was able to obtain some exclusive photos of Tuttle, who is currently sitting at an insane 243 pounds. Thanks to the expertise of our very own master technician, Chris Aceto, Tuttle will be hitting the stage at his all-time best and unleashing 212 pounds of fury on the competition, which might just earn him a win and an Olympia qualification for 2016. Six weeks out from making her 2015 debut, Women's Physique Pro star Blaylock looks to be dialing things in. A few weeks ago, Blaylock announced that she'll be officially entering the IFBB Texas Pro, where she'll take the stage in front of a packed house that's sure to be loaded with many fans and family in her home state. When asked what improvements we can expect to see from her on stage, Blaylock told Muscle in the Morning, quote, I've been working with Dave Kalick, and he's really paying attention to detail. We plan on bringing a much more polished, fuller package for my pro debut with conditioning being a priority, of course. We've taken our time this prep. With the Texas Pro being one of the last pro shows before the Olympia, there's no room to play around. I'm showing up to win. We're only a few weeks away from the NPC USA Championships, and it looks like super heavyweight freak Gabe, most likely to appear on The Tonight Show, Moen, is ready to bring his best back to the stage. Moen has been a presence at the top of the amateur scene for nearly eight years now and has slowly but surely been sculpting his massive frame, trying to put together the right combination of conditioning and fullness. And after years of being hit and miss on contest day, it looks like Moen might have finally solved the riddle and could be making things very interesting at the top of the super heavyweight class. Time under tension advocates would like to claim that moving heavyweight is overrated. But apparently, Jeff Beckham never got the memo. Earlier this week, Beckham released some footage from a recent training session where we see him go into all-out human forklift mode as he makes light weight of a 675-pound rack deadlift for reps. Although we haven't seen him on stage yet this year, when he decides to put it all together, Beckham is capable of bringing in the sort of classic look we just don't see too often in the sport. And should he decide to lace up his posing trunks in the near future, he's certainly capable of giving the top IFBB pros a run for their money. It's been said that there's no worse feeling in sports than that of taking home second place. 
And it looks like Eduardo Correa is doing everything in his power to make sure that all too familiar feeling doesn't follow him back home again this year. Correa has been spotted in the gym training like a man possessed as of late in an effort to finally knock down the massive wall that goes by the name of Flex Lewis that stood between him and that oh-so-elusive title. Correa is without a doubt one of the best athletes the 212 division has ever seen, but whether or not his legacy includes an Olympia title still remains to be seen. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out IronMagLabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.